Now, my next guest... My next guest is a very talented actor and comedian. You've seen Marty in television in both Second City uh, TV, NBC's Saturday Night Live. His movies include Three Amigos and Inner Space. This is his first time on The Tonight Show with us. Would you welcome Martin Short. Thank you. What a humble little set here. Oh, thank you. And what a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're wonderful. That was great. Oh, thank you know, I, I am so excited to be here, and I, I, I brought you a little gift. I oh, brought you a bottle necessary. of champagne, but if... <laughs> 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 but if you can do Betty and I a favor, maybe <laughs> drink it on the way home. Yes, I will. <laughs> and you won't want to go with me either, will you, in the car? Yeah. No, 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 I'll... I'll run along. The people who just joined us are not going to know what we're talking about. <laughs> Refer back to the early part of the show and figure it out because it may be bleeped. Anyway, yeah. good to see you. Good to see you. You yeah. had the nerve to come out and do her right away, huh? I know. Well, I'm a tremendous fan of, of this uh, young lady, sir. And, of course, Ed, I've worked uh, with... Uh, you're probably thinking, which star search was that? Yeah, but, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. Was that... But no, that was with the David Steinberg yes. show in Toronto. Ed was up there. It's right on. Yeah. yeah. Dude. David, David Eddy, David Eddy show. You know, John, it was amazing to me about having Ed. We wanted to have Doc. Oh, we didn't have Doc and John. But to me, John! <laughs> oh, that's why. One of these days, David's gonna have you. Right on. One of these Doc. days. Doc. It was amazing to me. Then it goes very low. <laughs> and then it goes up again, John! <laughs> He does have a speech pattern, doesn't oh, he? Oh, my goodness. Is David from it's, Canada, too? Yeah, Winnipeg. And you're from Canada? Yeah, Hamilton, Ontario. Hamilton, Ontario. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> you have a great ear for that. Did you start as fooling around in school when you were very young, picking up on impressions? I used to, yeah, I, well, I, you know, I guess it is true that you really do uh, impersonate the people that you admire. Or, yeah. I mean, you, because you just watch them. It's the only possible way that you would... Uh, when, when I, used to, I used to do Jerry Lewis as a kid, and I used to do a very high, you know, kind of high. <laughs> but then I noticed that as Jerry got older, there was a kind of an attitude. And I found that it was easier if you did him, you know, if you imagined that you were sucking on a lozenge. I don't know why. It's not that he does a lozenge. But it's like, so if you, if you just have an imaginary lozenge, and you go, yeah, John, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Betty! Hello! <laughs> But I... Papelman <laughs> They know way. Why? Then... <laughs> 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 what? What was... And of course, was, I, I can't have what I did uh, on Saturday Night Live. Yes. <laughs> but I... I love that. But I did it as Nelson Happen. Nelson We Hep did a piece called Lifestyles of the Relatives of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> And I will get to that soon. Yeah, yeah. And I played uh, uh, Catherine's s s third maternal cousin. Right. Nelson Hepburn. Well, there's a hot dog vendor in Central Park. <laughs> and uh, I would work there every day except Sundays. He'd say, Sundays are mine. They always were. <laughs> He'd say, I, I, I get up in the morning. I sleep late. And I read all the papers, and I have a, then a huge bowl of bran. The next few hours, I'm indisposed, and I phone friends. <laughs> Did you ever? It is flattering, generally, yeah. to be um, to be uh, mimicked, you know, or impersonated. Yeah. Did you ever hear from anybody that you do who maybe I know for a while? Uh, Sammy Davis did not like Billy Crystal's impression of him at first. I think he began to like it, but he didn't. He didn't care for it. I, I think that it's. Um... Uh, there are certain people, you know, you, you, you can't help, if you're, if you're going to do something, you really have to do all the, the, the different angles of them, you yeah. know, and, and uh, but no, I have not had, uh, you know, I do Robin Williams and Robin's a friend and, you know, <laughs> I thought he might be a little funny because it was all based on energy and, oh, what a one, oh, it's wonderful to be here. Oh, here sounds like there, there sounds like a hair. Oh, what a wonderful sons Don't touch that hair, Mary, you don't know where it's been, ha <laughs> You know, <laughs> and, uh, and it's so fast. And he just kind of goes along and then goes, uh, goes crazy. Oh, look at that. Oh, I, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Doc, like a nurse, nurse, nurse. Hurt my arm. <laughs> it's that wild stream of consciousness so that clever. goes through. He's so great. He's so great. God. Yeah, he, he was on about a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And absolutely got on a roll. You know, and it was just like uh, the things were clicking on and off. And uh, I don't think he knew half the time what he was going to do when he got up. It started and then just would... Yeah. Well, would, well, well, so, well sometimes you... Uh, 
You know, I, in, in the, when I once met Richard Burton, and, and I, Burton was a huge right. idol to me, and I was very nervous. He was doing Camelot. And I had a tendency to always be tongue-tied, a goofball, basically, yeah. when I would meet celebrities that I admired. And so I decided that I was really going to, like, be intelligent and plan what I was going to say. And I went backstage after Camelot, and I said, Mr. Burton, I just want to say to you that you are an enormous presence on the stage. And, and not for one second did I feel that I was watching a movie star. I felt I was watching King Arthur. And I thought he would then say, thank you, and move on to the next person. But he didn't. He talked to me. Like a real person, he said. But did you not find the reverb was somewhat distracting? Did it not bother you? Was booming off the back speaker? Did it not bother you at all? <coughs> and I said to him, thank you. <laughs> hey, yeah, that was it. That's all you'd planned, right? And then he looked at me and said, and who are you? Been quiet, like, yes. Never looked back. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, funny. It's, it's difficult. Have you ever tried to get somebody you can't quite nail? There are elusive people. Robin is not easy. I mean, because he's... Voice is not easy, you know, it's an yeah. attitude more than it is the voice. Some people, I mean, you would be impossible to me. Rich Little does you, and it's amazing. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know whether it's <laughs> particularly good or not. I did, uh, I tried to do Paul Simon once, and it, you know, it was just, he was like, I sure like playing in Africa. It sounded like Doug Henning. You know, <laughs> oh, the power of illusion. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do, uh... Doug Henning? Yeah. Is there a big call for that? What <laughs> magic is illusion. And an illusion, it can be magical. <laughs> That, not, that may not sound that intelligent, but then I'm not that intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 uh, and Jamie Farr came across like... Jamie Farr? Yeah, I'm a lover, not a fighter, but that's like Roger Mark. So yeah. there's no... No. <laughs> and Lucy, I tried, but I could only get that. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, get me my clutch bag. Hurry. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying is, you know, you have to have more nuance. You can't take that in the road. No, not really. Gary Cooper, I only have three words. Yep. Forget it. He's dead. That's not enough. Yeah, that's not good. I have been walking on ball fields for 16 years. Remember that great speech? Yes. No, that's, that's, yeah, that was my favorite speech. I, I, I um, only have three words. Who was the character that signed it? Was Ed Grimley? Yeah, it? yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is that, a composite of little this and little that? Oh, it was just, it was just uh, uh, a character, kind of a spirit, a very optimistic spirit, very excited <laughs> to be here, I must say. Oh, give me a break being on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. No, I suppose that isn't making me mental, I must say. <laughs> give me a break. Go ahead, my guy, if I had known you were here, you were, you were so decent. I suppose your movies aren't the best in the world. Give me a break. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Hi, Ed. Hi. Talk to Victoria. She's living with me now. <laughs> oh, you're doing ripples now. Yeah. Slide right oh, in. Oh, I there. have no real... Oh, no, no, no. I'll just do anybody. <laughs> who, who haven't we covered? You're working on anything. Anybody. Uh, let's see. Um, you I do, do me. Do I, do I do you? Yes. Well, I mean, you aren't that easy to do. Then we'll skip it. I just wanted to know. Yeah, okay. Tell me why I am fine. Fine. Wah! Now. <laughs> What's the tongue on the board, Ed? <laughs> then there's Jerry's laugh, of course, which I love. Oh, which yeah. is like a plum pudding bubbling. It's just... <laughs> Go oh, hell no. Oh. I'll put it there. Now, when you do, do you, you've got children, right? Yes. When they see their father acting like this, does it just, does it, does that disturb them? Do they understand? No, I am, I'm trying. Try this, this is your, what you do for a no, living? I'm or... teaching my comedy children. What did I say? You're I'm teaching, teaching your children comedy yeah. or your comedy children. Both those things. That's what I do. Hey, oh. And then, lost. <laughs> No, I am, I'm trying to create a comedy dynasty, Hell which would then and then Feynman. 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 No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm teaching a comedy dynasty. I, you know, not since the winds have we had, and barely there. But I'm teaching my daughter, uh, I've taught her that when she, for example, when she falls down, she must wait for her laughs. She can't just Good. get up, you know? Of course. And I've taught her how to do, uh, win an Oscar. She just, I've taught her with a Barbie doll. Truthfully, I just, she just holds the Barbie doll and I've taught her to go, Oh, baby. Now, I don't know if that's... <laughs> I don't know. It might play. Who knows? <laughs> it won't. We'll be back in just Bye. Just the moment, I'll... After this, down the thing. <laughs> <laughs>